That passed. Awesomeness. That Trigger Junior is consistently one of our best spoons. And, uh, you know, the fish are, fish are feeding on small shad right now. Typical early spring condition here in the Foothill Lakes. And uh, this watercolor, they really like the gold. They like the chrome. But uh, all of our gold lures have the 24 karat uh, coating on them. So lots of luster. Oh, nice fish. Here he comes. And there he is. Nice hammered gold trigger spoon. Ooh, that one had a close encounter with an uh, osprey or a uh, cormorant. There it is, guys. Hammered gold trigger spoon junior. It's got the red treble. It's got the 24 karat gold finish. Lots of luster and the fish love it. Fish on that gold trigger junior is money right now, guys. Tons of small bait scattered all over this this flat here, and they are jumping all over. It just feels like a smaller fish, but who knows? Like I could just lift him up and let him go. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh man, there's some serious head shaking going on there. Oh my gosh. He is not happy. Not oh a nice fish. Totally all day long. Oh yeah, what a beautiful trout. Oh, he came off the hook. Awesome. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here coming to you from our morning hike, Lucy and I. So excuse the camera if it's kind of bobbling around a little bit. I am doing my best to hold it still. Um, last week, I had a viewer question from Zach Hyatt, good friend of mine, trout fishing fool. Um, and he had actually two questions. His first question I dealt with in a previous video. He wanted to know how spoons fit into my overall trolling strategy. His second question, which I'm going to deal with right now, was what is the difference between hammered and plain spoons? And when do you use one over another? And, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're talking about, about metallic spoons. You can get hammered painted spoons, but you're not going to get the full effect of the, of the hammered finish. So to me, here's the compare and contrast. Here's the difference. Think about a plain finish chrome spoon, okay? So that kicks through the water. The trout are getting shots of solid flash, okay? And uh, they may respond to that. They may not respond to that. They may respond to that a little bit, but maybe you can dial the bite in and get something better going. But bottom line is that plain spoon, it's putting off a solid flash, flash, flash as the light hits it. Now a hammered spoon, think of it more as a hundred points of light. Think about halftime at the Super Bowl when you see all those flash bulbs going off in the crowd. That's the effect you're getting with a hammered spoon. You're getting little flicks of flash as, as opposed to one big flash every time that spoon kicks. Now, you know, do the trout perceive that as different? Do they like one over the other? Yes, at times they do, but I don't think there's any way to look at the conditions on any given day and say, you know what? This calls for a hammered spoon. You can make an educated guess, but again, it's just a guess. You don't know, the trout don't talk to us. So what you need to do is first, establish a spoon bite, whether you're pulling hammered spoons, a hammered gold spoon, or a hammered chrome spoon, or a plain chrome spoon, or a hammered, or a, a plain gold spoon, or silver spoon, or whatever. Plain versus hammered. So you catch a few fish on one type of finish, okay? This is the time to make small adjustments. You wanna try a painted spoon. You wanna try a hammered spoon if you're pulling plain, or a plain spoon if you're pulling hammered, and see if you can dial that bite in more. Some days, they absolutely positively want a hammered spoon more. Other days, they don't care. Some days, they want a painted spoon. So once you establish a spoon bite, that's the time to start playing with finishes, playing with colors, and see if you can really maximize that bite window. And remember, as intense as the bite is, at some point it's gonna stop, so you wanna make the most of it, so try some subtle changes and see if you can increase the amount of fish you're catching. You might find that you go from two fish in a half an hour to six fish in a half an hour by doing something as, as simple as changing from a plain spoon to a hammered, something like that. So I think there's something you need to have in your arsenal. I get a ton of questions and requests for hammered spoons, so I know there's a lot of guys out there that like 
like them, but I think there's something you need to have in your arsenal that you can really use to refine a spoon bite. Once you find that spoon bite, start playing with those small variables, size, finish, hammered, not hammered, and you're really gonna dial things in and you're gonna maximize the amount of trout you catch in a bite window. And by maximizing the amount of trout you're catching, you're gonna catch more and bigger trout. And that's our goal here on the channel. If you are looking for spoons, trigger spoons, trigger spoons, juniors, pinheads, and more, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and we'll hook you up with what you need. I'm Kel Kellogg, thanks a ton guys. Whoa!